Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kevin. Thanks for joining me for yet another video. And today I want to talk to you guys about failure. If you've been here for a little while, you know on my channel, I talk a lot about motivation, inspiration, helping you achieve the best version of you. I talk about winning and success and all these things that are byproducts of hard work and dedication. But along that journey, along that path towards success, the one thing that sometimes gets overlooked and we don't spend enough time talking about and recognizing the importance of is failure. We live in a world where we say things like, you can be all that you want to be. You can achieve anything that you set your mind to. The reality is, is you can't get to that stage in life without a few setbacks. And I don't know why this has been on my heart for the past couple of days, but I want to just share it with you directly from my heart because, you know, maybe it's because it's mid-January and some of you may have started to feel like you're already starting to fail at those resolutions you've created for yourself for the new year. Maybe you're beating yourself up about an old past failure that you just can't get over. And it makes you feel like life in itself just sucks. And it makes you want to just sit back, curl up in a ball, and forget about everything. But there's good news. And the good news is, is that failure is a part of the process. And the sooner that you recognize this and the sooner that you embrace failure and not look at it like a crutch, the better off you're going to be. I wanna share with you just three quick things about why failure is important as part of our process. First of all, is the fact that every single one of us goes through failures in life. Every single one of these individuals have had some level of failure in their life and look at where they are now. I know sometimes we look at celebrities and we say, you feel like I'm disconnected from that because I don't live their life. Think about people in your own life. Those that you know, people that you might look up to, some of your friends, those that you feel have accomplished the things that maybe you hope to accomplish. I would dare you to go talk to them about failures and things that they didn't go so well for them. Every single one of us at some point in our life has failed and will fail at something. But it is the way that you internalize that failure, get up, brush yourself on and keep moving that makes all the difference when you fail. The next thing is the fact that failure keeps you humble. For me, I don't think there's anything worse than a kick in the pants at failing at something. And I know it can be devastating. You put a lot of energy and a lot of effort into planning all the things that you plan, trying to achieve the things you want to achieve. Maybe it's a test and an exam. Maybe it's a job application. It could be anything. And it sucks when you hear no. But that also helps you remember that even when you do get that, then you need to cherish that and recognize that things don't come easy. And then it took hard work and that dedication to get that. Humility is key to success. I think we can all appreciate and we might know someone who has arrived and they got the worst attitude in the world. They think the world owes them everything. They look their nose down at everybody. Nose down or nose up? Turn down, turn up. I don't remember. Anyways, they act like they're just too good. To me, those are individuals who just really forgot where they came from. And they forgot the fact that it took hard work and dedication. And hopefully, humility will help keep you on the right path for when you get there. Another reason why failure is good for us on our journey towards success is that I think it makes you a better mentor. I've had the experiences in life where I've had conversations with individuals who just seem to always have everything together. They never failed at anything or so it has seemed, you know, you wouldn't really know what their failures were. But I like to talk to people that have been through some stuff. You have those that are book smart, those that seem to just have all the right answers all the time. And when you turn to them for advice or for motivation, it just seems like everything is a cliche answer or a cliche statement. But then you get talking to someone who's been through some stuff 
and they can give you real life examples of how failure has crippled them, but then they've overcome the crippling effects of the failure. That's the kind of person that I want to talk to because there's a connection there to help me understand that I'm not the only person that's in that particular situation. But it also is because they can give you much more clinical detail to how to achieve those goals and overcome those failures. And so when you go through failures in your own personal life, those are learning lessons that you can take, regurgitate over to someone else and help them become the best version of themselves. Look, I don't know what it is you're going through today, but I wanted to just share this with you quickly from my heart about the fact that failure is part of the process. If you're struggling today with trying to achieve things that you want to achieve and you're getting yourself down because you feel like you're failing all the time, ask yourself, what am I supposed to learn from this experience? Peace and love.